Rasha first and foremost, all praise and glory due to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that will honor to the apostles and the elders of Red Millstone and peace to the elected nation of Israel. Now, I just want to do this video to, uh, you know, prove and to show the brothers that, um, you know, all the hell that we're going through, you know, and all the hell that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, had put upon us, um, was all, you know, for a good reason, man, okay? And that reason is because we went against the Lord, man. We did not obey His commandments, right? Like, you know, we always bring out this example, man. You know, if you have a child and your child disobeys you, you're going to discipline them if you love that child, man. And in this case, the Lord loves Israel, and we are His firstborn, you know, we are His children. And, you know, by us going off and not obeying what He commands us, then He's going to punish us, man, okay? And then also, on top of that, you know what, our people, you know, they're the ones that actually put that curse upon themselves, you know, like when... You know, um, they were putting Yahweh Shai, uh, on the cross. They said, you know, let his sin, or you know, um, let the sin be upon us and our children, man. And that's why we went, you know, through um, our slavery. And today we're going through hell. Yahweh Shai, he used a white man as his whooping stick, man. Like it tells you in the book of Psalms, man. Okay, so let me just um, read this, you know, just to show you that all that the Lord has done, you know, it's all, um you know that the lord did uh it's all for a reason man okay and it's for a good reason too okay because jehovah you know he, he's not just going to do something you know without a purpose okay well this is the songs of the three holy children in the apocrypha um i'll start from verse one okay it says and they walked in the midst of the fire praising jehovah and blessing the lord then Azarias stood up and prayed upon this matter, upon Salakia, prayed on this manner, and opening his mouth in the midst of the fire, said, Blessed art thou, O Lord, Yahweh Shai of our Father, thy name is worthy to be praised and glorified forevermore. Okay, now let me just, you know, um, break that down. It says, Thy name is worthy to be praised, man. Okay, now Nathaniel 7, okay, and the IU, you know, um, Israel united in Christ, right? Those guys, you know, they do not acknowledge the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Shai. But it just said right here, thy name is worthy to be praised and glorified forevermore. So you have to acknowledge that name, man, and that name is Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh the Heavenly Father, Bahashem in the name. Yahweh Shai is the son who the world ignorant calls Christ, okay? Now you have to, you know, worship and call on that name not jesus or jesus christ man you know those are all false gods and the lord told us not to make mentions of any other gods man okay so it said that his name is worthy to be praised man so you have to know that name and you you know and you have to pray in that name and you have to exalt that name man okay that name is the reason you know how we're gonna get the hell out of here man and without that name you're gonna burn man because if you call on jesus christ he's not gonna do shit for you man okay jesus christ is a damn white man jehovah shai you know like the scripture says you know he's a dark-skinned man from the tribe of judah okay now now um uh in the book of corinthians if i'm not mistaken it said that you know what there's gonna come to a time when they're gonna preach another another jehovah shai and that's jesus christ man okay but uh you know, just going back to this, it says, Blessed art thou, O Lord, Yahweh, Shai of our fathers, thy name is worthy to be praised and glorified forevermore. For thou art righteous in all the things that thou hast done to us. Yea, true are all thy works, thy ways are right, and all thy judgments truth. Okay? So everything that the Lord, Yahweh, Shai did, it was all right, man. Okay? And everything that he did, you know, all of his all of his judgments that he bestowed upon us was all truth. Okay? Now a lot of people will say, you know what? Well, I don't understand why the Lord did this to me and that and that. It's because you know what? They don't understand, you know, who they were in the you know, in their past life, man. You know what? Maybe the Lord, you know, he you know, maybe the Lord, you know, he he put a judgment on you, you know, due to what you did in your past life, okay? But everything that the Lord does, man, it's balanced and it's just, okay? Now it says, in all the things that thou hast brought upon us, okay? 
in all the things that thou hast brought upon us and upon the holy city of our fathers, even Jerusalem, thou hast executed true judgment. So everything that happened to our city and to our people, the Lord has executed true judgment, man. Okay? For according to truth and judgment didst thou bring all these things upon us because of our sins. Okay? So that's the point right there. Everything that the Lord, you know, did to us was because of our sins. If we did not go against them, guess what? We would have had all the blessings that he said in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. Okay? And then verse 15 was all the curses and down, man. Okay? So the point was that everything that the Lord did to us was all because of our sins. Okay? Verse, verse 6. For we have sinned and committed iniquity. Now, iniquity is what? Sin upon sin upon sin upon sin. Okay? And it says, departing from thee. That's right. Departing from your Bashem Hashem, man. Because the Lord said that, you know what? Um, in the book of um, uh, Jeremiah, I believe, you know, that we were going to discontinue from our heritage. And his name, you know, is a big part of that, man. Okay? So, when we departed from the Lord, he took his name. Therefore, because in the book of, um, in the time of the book of Judges, man, you know, whenever we would go off and we would forget the Lord, you know what? We would call on his name and the Lord would come and deliver us. But once the Lord took that name away from us, then that was a wrap, man. Okay, now, you know what? We can't turn back unless the Lord has left us a small remnant, man. Okay, and now, you know, that remnant is 144,000. Okay, now it says, For we have sinned and committed iniquity, departing from thee. In all things have we trespassed and not obeyed thy commandments, nor kept them. Neither d done as thou hast commanded us, that it might go well with us. That's right, man. Everything that the Lord you know, has set, you know, before us, the commandments, was all for our good, man. The Lord told us not to eat pork because he knew that if you were to, you know, he knew that, you know, if you were to eat pork, guess what, man? You're going to die eventually, man, because, you know what, pork is made to clean the earth. You're not supposed to clean, you know, you're not supposed to eat something that's supposed to cleanse the earth. Okay, you're supposed to eat, you know, of the clean animals, man. That's why um, in the book of, um, uh, in the... In the time of um, Genesis, you know what, when um, uh, you know, um, Noah was building the ark, the Lord told Noah, you know what, to gather the clean animals by seven and the unclean animals by two. There's a reason why he said the clean animals by seven is because we we're going to eat all of the clean animals, man. Okay, but pork, guess what, pork is not a clean animal, man. But you have the majority of the people here today, they love that bacon, man. Okay. But the Lord said that, you know what, all of these commandments was all for our good so that it could go well with us, man. And that's why you have a lot of people, you know, who have cancer today is because these commandments, what, you know what, they're good for the earth. But once you don't keep these commandments, guess what, now you begin to die, man. Okay, by the way, the sickness, the diseases, and all of the other stuff, man, okay? But it says, verse 8, Wherefore, all that thou hast brought upon us, and everything that thou hast done to us, thou hast done in true judgment, okay? And thou didst deliver us into the hands of lawless enemies, that's Esau, okay, and these other, other heathen nations, most hateful forsakers of Yahweh Shai. That's right, man. You have a lot of these Edomites, you know what? They don't believe in Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because you have the sons of the you know of um of God, which 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 is the Israelites, the sons of the wicked, which is the damn white man, and and the sons of man, which are which are the other nations. You know what? Three classification of, of man. Okay? But it says most hateful forsakers of God and to an unjust king and most wicked in all the world. That's what the Lord delivered us to, man, because we went off, you know, and we did not keep his commandments. So everything that we have done, you know, against the Lord, the Lord is a just balanced power. So he put all of this hell on us so that we could get right, man, and not go off again. Okay, and just like the apostles say, man, you know, the reason why we're going through hell is so that we can enjoy the kingdom that much more, you know. And you know what? In order to be a god, you have to understand wickedness too, man. Because in a time of, um, you know, um, Adam, you know, we only knew righteousness, okay? But in order to be a god, like it tells you, 
like it tells you in the book of Psalms, you know, I have said you are gods and all of you are children of the most high. In order for us to be gods, you have to understand both righteousness and wickedness. And that's why we're going through all of this hell today, man. Okay, but with that, you know what? That's the point right there. Everything that the Lord has brought upon us is due to our own wickedness. And that's it, man. You know what? I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of great mercy and peace to the elected nation of Israel. Shalom.